There are a lot of good 3D software out there. The question is, what is the best one that will suit your needs? Today we're going to talk about five of the most popular 3D softwares out there and try to help you know more about every one of those because each one of them is kind of unique in a certain way. These are going to be Maya, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, Houdini, and Blender. Now we're going to break down the differences between these five programs and show you what they do the best. Number one, modeling, 3ds Max. It has a beginner's friendly interface that allows for easy access to the most important modeling tools. 3ds Max has a robust modeling tool set with an availability of several modifiers that make the modeling process easier and faster. Also, 3ds Max caters to its designer users by giving them the right tools to help them do a better job when it comes to architectural visualization and interior design. 3ds Max has a lot of plugins and scripts for modeling that you can download if you want to take your modeling to the next level or if you need some modeling features that these tools can offer. Maya after the entry of Maya 2014 version, some very powerful modeling toolset have been added to the software which gives its users a better workflow and more efficient modeling that will allow you to create complex models easily. Maya is equal to 3ds Max when it comes to modeling, however, the workflow is different and Maya's UI can be a little bit difficult. If you want to be in game development, learning to model in Maya is a good option because you will be using it if you work in the game industry. Blender Blender has been developed a lot lately with a variety of new features, especially with the new releases, which makes it competitive when it comes to 3D modeling. Blender's comprehensive array of modeling tools makes creating, transforming, sculpting, and editing your models an easy process. Sometimes difficult, but it depends on your experience, of course. Also, what is interesting about modeling in Blender is the plugins and external scripts that you can use to create cool and complicated mechanical pieces and detailed models. Cinema 4D Cinema 4D provides the user with a factory of an exclusive library of preset objects, materials, and scenes. These libraries can be used to create concepts without spending money on buying models. Sometimes modeling and designing complex models becomes difficult in Cinema 4D, and of course this all depends on your level of skill. Houdini Houdini is used for modeling or modifying a large number of models briskly and efficiently. The modeling tools in Houdini make it easier to create a good surface topology for use in film, TV, games, and VR, and can be used interactively in the viewport using a wide variety of polygon, nerves, and subdivision surface modeling tools. It also provides standard geometric modeling tools. Number 2. Rendering Maya and 3ds Max. When it comes to rendering, you can expect an equilibrium between 3ds Max and Maya because they both have the same default renderer, which is Arnold for the time being. Both programs use Arnold and it is included with the default installation of 3ds Max and Maya supporting interactive rendering from the interface because these two softwares are created by the same company, which is Autodesk. Arnold is fast, memory efficient, and scalable, physically based ray tracer. Its aim is to simplify the pipeline of VFX animation companies with a reduced set of user interface elements, and by promoting a single pass approach removing all the associated storage and management costs. Also there are a lot of people using external renderers that don't come with 3ds Max or Maya like V-Ray, Redshift, and Octane just to name a few. These renderers can create amazing renders and they are coming with new features every year because the competition is fierce and the possibilities are limitless. Blender Blender works on Cycles Path Tracing Engine. Cycles is a strong rendering engine which enables full path tracing. It's commonly compatible with OpenGL rendering. Cinema 4D Cinema 4D comes with a built-in rendering engine that is completely usable for creating a great renders inside Cinema 4D. 
Also, there are third-party render engines for integration with Cinema 4D to achieve even better results if you have the skills to run these softwares and plugins. Houdini. It uses its powerful renderer called Mantra. Mantra includes a skyline, ray tracing, and physically based rendering. Mantra is deeply integrated into Houdini with highly efficient rendering of geometry, instances, and volumes. You can also choose from a wide variety of third-party renderers such as Pixar's RenderMan, V-Ray, Solid Angles, Arnold, Redshift, and a lot more. Number 3 Animation Maya Maya stands out when it comes to animation because of the huge library of animation tools. Also, you really need to have a working knowledge of its scripting languages Python and MEL to customize these softwares and tools included inside Maya. Blender. Blender allows artists to turn their still characters into animations, whether it's simple keyframing or complex walk cycles. Among Blender's animation toolset is Character Animation Pose Editor, Nonlinear Animation for Independent Movements, IK Forward Inverse Kinematics for Fast Poses. Blender also offers a good set of tools when it comes to rigging for character preparation for animation. Houdini. The animation in Houdini supports keyframe animation and role channel manipulation. Houdini offers a complete solution for rigging and animating characters and creatures. These tools include auto rigging, muscle and flesh, post space deformation, cloth, hair, and four and more. Characters can be easily wrapped up into a pipeline-friendly digital asset node to be animated using invisible rigs. 3ds Max. 3ds Max is a good software when it comes to animation. Actually, it has almost the same basic principles and techniques that Maya has, but the difference is in the flow of the process ease of use and the tools that are available only in Maya as we said before. Cinema 4D Cinema 4D is also a good software for character animation with new control rigs for fast and flexible character animation. It allows you to easily apply and adjust, add, mix, mocap data and have characters up and running. Cinema 4D also has a Field Force Dynamics object you can use which allows you to use the power of fields to control dynamic forces in your animation. It has a commandable tools like MoGraph which is a set of tools that speed and accelerates the animation and motion graphics. Number 4 Visual Effects Maya Maya has a very strong presence in visual effects because a lot of visual effects studios are using it even though it seems like the tides are shifting as more and more people are using Houdini instead of 3ds Max and Maya for VFX for reasons we will talk about in other videos. Maya can create amazing VFX shots using a bunch of powerful plugins and tools such as Krakatoa, FumeFX, Phoenix FD, Real Flow, and a lot more. Houdini. When it comes to visual effects, Houdini is probably the most powerful. Its use of advanced dynamic simulation tools provide a platform to create high quality visual effects and filters. It uses a node based interflow that helps the users in exploring the errors as they modify and refine their work. With a node-based environment, this helps the user to function multiple projects in the same computer. 3ds Max When it comes to VFX, 3ds Max has a good history that proves its importance in this field and there are a lot of famous VFX artists and big studios that use it in their pipeline to create visual effects shots. There are a lot of plugins that you can use in 3ds Max like Thinking Particles, FumeFX, Krakatoa, just to name a few. 3ds Max recently started integrating VFX tools with the new release and it seems like Autodesk is trying to strengthen 3ds Max in this aspect by developing its native tools. Cinema 4D Artists use Cinema 4D workflow for creating VFX and integrating them into a live action shot. Cinema 4D is popular for its use in motion graphics effects. 
It is also popular among VFX artists creating short films and creating visual effects. Using Cinema 4D, you can track and solve a shot using Motion Tracker and a lot of other tools that aid you in the process. Blender Blender comes with a fully fledged built-in compositor. This allows you to post-produce your renders without leaving Blender. Blender features production-ready camera and object tracking, allowing you to import raw footage, track it, mask areas, and reconstruct the camera movement live in your 3D scene. In the end, I would say your choice should be based on what you want and what is your purpose behind using the software in the first place. If you want to do some cool renders or work as a VFX artist, you should probably go with Maya, Houdini or 3ds Max because this is what big studios use for the moment. For game development, Maya, 3ds Max and Blender are a good choice. And if you want to do animation specifically, I suggest you learn Maya because it has the most possibilities and also Blender can do a great job when it comes to animation. If you want to do architectural visualization or interior designs specifically, 3ds Max is the best option because a lot of designers and architects use it in order to create some cool interior design and interior designs as well. And finally, if you want to create motion tracking, VFX shots, and motion graphics, Cinema 4D, will be a great choice as well. So I hope this video was useful and helped you to know more about 3D packages and what works for you the best. You can share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.